Hello fellow Robloxians, in this video I'll teach you guys how to make a surface view with tween text. You're looking at one right now actually. Let us begin. So first insert a part and at this point you may want to resize that part and uh, change its surface properties such as inlet to smooth. Afterwards, select the part and insert object, select a surface screen, and inside that surface screen also insert a frame. Now you might not notice the frame at first until you change the surface screen's face property, so keep changing that face property until you see a white rectangle on that part. As for the frames, change its size to 1, 0, 1, 0, also change its background transparency to 1. I think it looks better that way. Also make sure that Clips Descendant is enabled. And then insert object, insert a text label into the uh, frame, and change its size to 1, 0, 1, 0 as well. Change its background transparency to 1, and make sure that Clips Descendant is enabled as well as text scaled and text wrapped. And now I'm just going to change the font of the text, and you might also notice that the text may look a bit warped. So what you do for that is you'd select the screen view and look at its canvas size. Now, what I want to do here is stretch out the text vertically, so I take the Y value of the canvas size and decrease it by a number. In this case, I'll decrease it by 100 and keep editing it as needed. I'm also going to change the text color. And once you've done all your customizing and editing, just uh, erase the text on it and name it Label 1. Now go up to the label right click and duplicate it. Now set its name to label2 and after that we should all be set for the script. So select the part, right click, insert object and select a script and allow me to outline this for you. Now let's get started. So for our labels, local label1 equals script dot parent dot surface dot frame dot label1 and label 2 should be pretty easy because we just copy and paste and change the 1s to 2s. After that, we also want to set a variable local using equals label 1. And basically, it would help us keep track of which label we're about to move on to the screen. Now, for our dialog or, you know, our array of the string values, we do local say equals curly braces and here are our stream values, which you guys will probably definitely want to customize. Just be sure to separate the string values with commas. Now for our move function, which involves tweeting, do local function move parentheses. And inside these parentheses, we're going to re require two parameters. And the first one is obj, or short for object, and it's the object that we're going to be tweeting. After that, place a comma and add POS or pose, which is the position we'll tween the object to. So, obj colon tween position parentheses POS or pose comma out comma quad comma one. Now let's move on to our for loop. Let's start with for s equals 1, number say, do. So basically, we'll run through all of the things we must say. Be sure to add your end at the end. And then repositioning, changing the text, and moving the curtly wall to the screen. What we'll do is using dot position equals udim2 dot new parentheses negative 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0. After that, we need to change the text. So using dot text equals say bracket s. What that will do is set the corresponding string of dialogue. So if s was 1, we'd set the text as the rose is red. Now after that line, we also want to move the currently want to the screen. So we'd finally use our handy move position. So type down move parentheses using, which is the current label we're using, comma, udim2.new parentheses 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 which is the neutral position. Now we also want to prepare our next label 
And what I mean by that is that we change the variable that's called using right now. So to alternate the text labels that we're using, we want to find out which it is that we're actually using at the moment. So if using equals label one, then using equals label two. Else set using equals label one. We're almost done. So next we have to move the old label off the screen. So in this case, the old label would essentially be the label that we just set as using. So move parentheses using comma udim2.new one comma zero comma zero comma zero so that moves it to the right and we won't be able to see it. Now after that usage of the move function we also want to wait. It can be any amount of seconds I would recommend, recommend something like three just so that you give some time to allow the words to be read. Now that does work and we're going to add an extra step to it if that's what you guys are looking for. So before we start the for loop, we also want to start another loop, which is while true do and add an end to the very end. Essentially what that does is it constantly loops all those string values and it never ends. Thank you for watching! If this video was helpful to you, please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know if you're having any trouble. I'll see you guys next time, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the 500 subscribers video. Obviously, I need to make up for it because I've already reached 600. Thank you guys.